Hi guys, we're back from the holidays and ready to go back to my full normal schedule. So I'm just gonna paint something that it's been annoying me that I haven't painted it yet because I've been using this model a lot and it's the Crimson Crocodile from Kingdom Death Monster, the new gambler's chest. I've been playing it a lot. I'm really, really enjoying it. So his attacks are based a lot on blood and how he hardens it and manipulates it and he's he's kind of a sassy monster he definitely goes around winking at you causing you extreme brain trauma I want him to look like he's always sort of like flushed or, or blushing because a lot of his hit locations are called like his blushing this or his blushing that I feel like that would be really cool to incorporate how I'm going to do that <sighs> I'm not sure. I feel like the best way to do that is to have him, his skin tone, almost like human, like colored skin. I feel like the best way to do it is to have almost like technically his base skin flesh tone to be like a human flesh tone and then make him look really like rosy. I've been looking at what a lot of other people have done and it's just been a wild range and the artwork is very much artistic instead of really like detailed which I really like but hurts a bit in terms of how in the world I'm actually gonna paint him. I am definitely going to be utilizing my airbrush because this guy is just way too big to be hand painting and I've kind of really grown to enjoy my airbrush. I think I'll do everything including the fingers you know, like highlighted, but all the same skin tone because I, these fingers look like they're a part of him. They're not like separate. Like sometimes in a lot of these models, the fingers look, cause they all have fingers. They look a little bit not really cohesive with the rest of the model, but these are literally coming out of his, the skin of his back. And then I'm gonna make his fin a very drastic different color, probably red. It's gonna be an adventure to say the least to try and get this done. Oh, and I have less time than usual because I was sick all last week when I decided I was gonna start painting. It's been a lot, but talking about it, honestly, right now is already getting me excited to do it. So I'm gonna give him a nice base coat in, I think black. Let's get started. I finished all of the airbrushing. I think this, so my head envisioned something different, but I always have to remember that this is sort of like the process and I'm in the middle of it right now, but I think I'm getting where I wanna go. So I started with primer, zenithal, then went in with the speed paints through the airbrush. I did the murder scene, I think is what it's called. And oh, I love speed paints through the airbrush so much. They look so good. And then I tried to go on top of that with a really light skin tone. I just mixed a couple of the lighter skin tones that I had to get the color that I wanted. And I think it's working. I think he does look very reddish, but like pale flesh colored. I just sort of have to figure out where I'm gonna move it from here and how high I want those highlights. Cause right now he looks pretty good. I mean, he needs highlights, but I don't think I need too much to be at a place where it'll look good. But I, I just don't know if I really want to bump it up since this is a setting that's, you know, really in the dark. And then of course, what I'm going to do for his eyes. So in the game, I'm actually pulling it out because I don't know what color his eyes are. So if I look at the cards for the Crimson Crocodile, here's one example. His eyes are red and like the inner pupil, but outside looks almost yellowish. But then some of his AI cards make it look like his eyes are like pure red. But after looking more at his, his art, I definitely think that a red, red tongue has to be in there, like bright bright red. His tongue is already mostly red from the airbrushing, but we definitely gotta pop that up. And then for his eyes, I might do yellow with like a red center. They're pretty big. They're definitely big enough where I can see that detail. I'm mainly worried about the skin tone, but if we start maybe doing some other things first so that I get an idea, then I can finally finish up his skin and then he'll look really cool. Let's do it. This is going to be something that hopefully can be done fast and efficient and still look good. Nothing too absolutely 
absolutely crazy. So let's go. So I'm on my third day and I was just thinking that it's kind of crazy how quickly I feel like I got rusty on my painting. I hadn't painted in maybe like three weeks because I was on vacation three, four weeks. I feel like I can barely hold my brush right without messing everything up. And I'm just really frustrated with how it's turning out. And I don't remember what I usually do to, to get what I want out of when I paint. And I'm just, I'm really, really struggling these this like last day. I tried making the reds a little bit more uh, saturated by adding more of the speed paint just to give it more pigment. And I just don't, don't I don't know what to do and I don't like how it's looking like I tried doing something on the legs and it's just coming out mostly like pink and I know I feel so dumb because I'm like I know that white and red makes pink not just like light red I mean I guess pink is light red but not you know what I mean not not quite the color I was looking for and now he's got like pink legs and then of course on top of all of that I exploded another one of my bottles it was like stuck it wasn't a ball bearing this time and it just exploded everywhere and some of it got on my model thankfully just a little amount but it was enough to feel like just so defeated last night <sighs> and I had to stop. I was like, I can't right now. I will come back today. I have more hours today to work on it and I just need to like paint some other part of him that isn't making me frustrated. So I'm gonna try and do his eyes right now and the rest of his like spots, which are pretty easy to do and hopefully get out of this funk. Like I need to just start painting again. I missed it so much and now that I'm here I was so excited to do it and I'm, I I just feel so rusty and it's only been a few weeks. Like when I first started this I felt like I started from zero. You know when I started this whole channel so I had no real expectations for myself but now that I've been doing this for so many months and I see myself progressing this like step backwards after just not doing it for a little bit is is really getting to me. But we're gonna focus, we're gonna move forward, and I'm gonna do his eyes really cool, like yellow with a red center, and hopefully I can clean up everything else because besides teeth and fingernails and polka dots and his fin, like, like little details are all I really need to do next. So I'm gonna try and fix up his legs to make them all match, but... I, I don't even know where to begin with that. I keep looking at other examples and seeing how rich they have the reds on like the creases and stuff like that. And I keep thinking, what did they do that I didn't? Did they like not use an airbrush on those parts? Did they dry brush? Was that how they were able to keep the reds deep while having really light layers on top? So let's keep painting and let's go.
All right, here we go. I think I finally found my groove again and it's coming out better every time, every time guys. I always don't trust the process and I really need to trust the process. Maybe, maybe I have trust issues or something because <laughs> every time I freak out and then it all works out in the end. I'm really happy with how he's turning out. I was sort of just playing around with how to make his skin look interesting and at first I thought I had messed up, but then as I kept doing the brush strokes of like this like reddish pinkish color with the skin tone, it was making this really cool effect. I feel like it's almost like that art style that I see of people where it looks almost like colored with, like it looks like watercolory or like crayon-y, I guess more watercolor. And I've always loved it when people did art styles like that for minis, cause I thought it just like really gives it this whole other dimension to the model. It finally clicked just how you do that, or at least sort of clicked. I'm not 100% there yet because I still was totally winging it, but it's starting to click and I love how it's turning out. I'm so close to done. I really just need to finish his eyes and then do some like highlighting on his teeth and stuff like that and the humans on his back, but that should take me very minimal amount of time and then I'll be done. With the amount of effort that I've put in, I'm really enjoying how he's turning out and I can't wait to play against him again. So I'm gonna finish them up and then we're gonna take some cool photos and then we're gonna wrap this all up. So I will see you at the end. And here he is, the Crimson Crocodile is completed. I'm so happy to have finished something at the start of this new year that I've really wanted to get done. I've been playing a lot of KDM, like I said before, and having the Crimson Crocodile completed is just gonna feel really, really cool on the game board. And I'm really happy I did him. Things I really like, I love the way his skin turned out. I don't know what it was. It was just a spark of inspiration. And next thing I knew, I was furiously painting these weird pink flesh colors and I I thought it turned out great. I really want to paint things in this sort of style more in the future. Things I wish I could change a little bit. I wish his fin and his like blood gland, like 
blood pus things. Those like, that stuff on his neck, it's gross. I don't know what to call it. I wish they were a bit brighter and a little bit more intensely red, but I think learning from that, I would have had to specifically have made sure that I, with the airbrush, put the base coat a little bit brighter if I wanted to come out brighter. And I didn't, I put everything the same color and tried to work from there. But that's okay, I still think it definitely looks a different shade than the rest of him and still very much reads as a brighter red, which was the goal. As for the base, I hope I don't regret putting the little rocks. I was sort of scrambling last minute to try and figure out what to do with it since I don't have like any of the extra KDM base stuff you could get, like the stone faces and things like that. But I really wanted it to look sort of like the game board's lighter stone color, like almost like a whitish stone. So I think this with the grass tufts hopefully give that off and hopefully all the little rock pieces don't go flying all over our board when we play with them. Right now they're being held together with glue and a lot of hope. And I don't know if that'll be enough. <laughs> So we'll see. For everyone who watched all the way to here, thank you so much. If you like this stuff, please subscribe and like and comment what you think about him, what you're going to be trying to paint this year, if you have anything fun or exciting that you're looking forward to doing in 2024. And I hope you guys had an amazing new year, an amazing holiday season, that you guys are doing great. I don't know what to tell you. I hope you're all doing good. Until the next video, I'll see you guys next time.